Your phone? Just checking Seriously? Time. Can you stand up looking at your phone for five fucking minutes? Okay, okay. I'll put it away. Jesus Christ. Doesn't even matter anymore. I'm home. Hey, honey. After you gone and left me crying, after you gone, there's no denying you'll feel blue. Hopefully, we don't hit traffic on the way there. You ready to go? And your point is? I left them there on the counter. Seriously? Not this again. What? I think I have a right to defend myself. I came in and I put them on the counter there. Full stop. No, it can't possibly be your fault. When is it ever your fault? How could you say that? I know when I'm wrong. Where are they then? Well, mm -hmm. they should be on the counter. How could we possibly have forgotten about the counter? You never admit when you're wrong, do you? Seems like nothing's ever your fault. Oh, I admit when I'm wrong. I always admit when I'm wrong. First off. Um, hello? I didn't know you were coming home early. Long day at work? You look horrible. So I was thinking maybe we can go somewhere this summer? There's no Get out of the city for a while? Uh, where are the keys? I, uh, I don't look at my phone that much. Yes, you do. No, I don't, I don't. Yes, you do. And I definitely put my coat on the counter there. No, you came in like a zombie, looking like you just spent two months stationed in Okinawa during the Pacific Theater. Yeah, well, you're Eleanor Roosevelt. I don't mean that you uh, look like her. It's just that sometimes you say things like an old lady would say. No, that's not uh, what I'm trying to, whatever. What I'm trying to say is that I came in with my coat and keys and I put them on the counter. Hi, honey. Wow, you look ravishing today. Nope. You came in. Oh. I grunted like a caveman. Really? No, actually, you just stood there silently. A caveman grunt? An interaction like that would be so out of the norm. I think I'd jump for joy if you gave me that little modicum mm, of no, contact. No, no, that's that's not true. Uh-huh, it's true. Oh, no, well, you are a... Poop, poop, poop. Poopity poop, poop, poop. I'm a big piece of poop, and there's nothing I can do about it. Poop! Mm. I swear, I, I just have. It doesn't even matter anymore. We're late anyways, and it's not like we're going anywhere. No, we have to find the keys. Why? The gala has for sure started already. This night has been completely ruined. Hey, they were on the dresser. What? I can't believe it's five o'clock already. You ready to go yet? Yeah, are you ready yet? So, they've been in your pants not in your coat, which, by the way, you were adamant about for like the last hour. And the next thing we'll know, you'll say, I have the keys, not you, and I've been hiding them from you for the past hour, so we didn't have to leave. Wait, um, what are you accusing me of? I didn't lie. I wouldn't lie. Your pants. Yeah. So you're saying that they've been in your pants this whole time? How that would be a cherry on top of this amazing night. Oh. My. God. Ha! What are you? Do you really think I'm so dumb that I wouldn't check my pants yet? Oh, come on, it was just a joke. I was goofing around, okay? Obviously, the keys aren't in the... 
bedroom. I was just making an I don't give a stuff. shit, okay? And I don't care for your fake apologies. Is finding the keys that fucking important to you? Then let us look for the keys then, huh? Where could they be? Pieces of metal that seemingly just poof, disappeared? They could be in the couch. Maybe they fell out and into the closet. Hell, they could have walked themselves off the table, slid under the couch, tiptoed off of their own free will. Are they over here? Where are okay, they? Okay, have okay. you seen them? Okay, Where did you put stop. them? They could be in the bed. They could be in the washer, in the toilet. They could be in the fucking fridge. Where could they be, huh? Where could they fucking okay, be? stop. Stop. I get it, okay? Keys could be anywhere. No, you don't get it. I've had it with you. Acting like you're better than it all. <laughs> what? 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 You got something to say? Say it. Say it! No! I'm not gonna say anything. You're just gonna act like the victim like you always do. You ass. Don't you put you not talking to me on me. You barely even notice me on a regular basis. What, am I just your object of attraction, your fucking housewife? Stop treating me like that. Well, obviously, I'm just a misogynist who wants his wife to keep her little mouth shut, huh? I bring home the bacon, therefore I know what's on in this house. Is that what our life is like for you? Is that how you think that I am? Because anytime I comment on anything related to you, you just blow up and act the victim. Don't fucking put your insecurities on me and blame me for your fucking shit. You? Well, Where are the fucking keys? Who gives a shit about the keys? Why do you care so much about me not finding the keys? Huh? What are you gonna do? Kill me? In my own home? Lock me up so I can't escape? Can't believe it's five o'clock already. I have to take a quicker shower. You know, usually I'm not even thinking about anything. I'm just standing there. I become a pylon. Hey, honey, what's wrong? I'm fine. Hey, I'm here. It's just everything feels so much harder than it should be. Eating, speaking, waking up in the morning. I just feel like something's missing. What's wrong with me? Oh, nothing. Nothing is wrong with you. And I know it's unhealthy, but every time you look at your phone or you're busy with something, I just feel like I'm being left out. And I'm such a bore to you, and you don't want to spend any time talking to me. And now I'm just crying for no reason and whatsoever, and I just, I feel like... I can't stop, and and I'm acting like a crazy person talking about how I can't stop crying, and I've, I've ruined our night. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. There's nothing to apologize for. You know, I sometimes feel those same things, too. Drowning and how much shit that we have to put up. Where the, I don't have anything interesting to say to you because of how overwhelmed I got. I just, 
I stare at a screen all day, and then I come home and I stare at a screen. I am sorry that I put you there, left you there. I'm sorry that I did this to you, and I'm sorry that I made you feel this way. Yeah, you don't do anything. I don't tell you how I'm feeling anymore. I, when I'm happy or, or when I'm angry. And somehow I've made myself afraid that you'll stop caring about me if I tell you about my issues. I, I just feel so alone right now. I'm sorry. Like, we see each other every day. <laughs> we don't have to go to the gala. We can just put on some comfy PJs and, and watch a movie. But... No. I've already decided for both of us, okay? I'm in acting house lockdown mode. Beep! <laughs> the gala... It doesn't matter anymore. 